Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I might the explosive one. Let's get into another one. TNT, we're back. You are back. I am back. Uh, there's been a hiatus. And Jonas was on a break. Sabbatical. I was not, I was finding myself with the Lord. <laughs> I went to Papua New Guinea. You did not go to Papua New Guinea. No, no. I, uh, yeah, I had to go take care of some family matters in Ohio. Yeah, yeah. So I had a, uh, you know, had a family member pass away and I had to go handle some family business. Oh, there it is. And uh, yeah, so uh, well, I was gone for what, 24 days? Jonas was gone for 24 days. Yeah, yeah. So so, so that's why there was a hiatus. And there's so, only 14 uh, days of not having videos or it, not even that. I think. Yeah. 10 yeah. days. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you've noticed, put something in the comments if you haven't. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Either so, way, we're back. Yeah, we're back. So anyways, dude, so I was telling TNT here before we started this episode and I figured uh, I'd talk about it on the, on the podcast. So like I was telling him at, at, at uh, it was my grandma. My, at my grandma's funeral, I did like a little like, what, do they call those something? At a special, like a, when you do like a speech at the funeral. That's a... Uh, when you say something at the like yeah, the wake. Yeah, they call it something, don't they? Uh, the, the, uh, just, <laughs> they do. It's not called a speech, too, because you called it a speech earlier. Yeah, but when a, you say uh, eulogy. Eulogy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did like a little eulogy. And, and uh, so it was funny because like, okay, my grandma lives... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of out in the real country area. It's very, it's near Amish folk. Like there was like Amish buggies going up and down the, uh, the street. And it's a, it's a state highway that her house is on. So it's not like it's a dirt road. It's a state freaking highway. And there was Amish buggies going up and down the road. Really? Okay. Oh yeah. There's a, they put a dollar general in like a few years ago. And that's the only <laughs> thing in the town. <laughs> Put in a dollar general. Anyways, and there was like there was like buggies like perched oh. at the Dollar General because the Amish guys were inside. Oh no! Yeah, like like the the show Amish Mafia was filmed like it's not even ten miles from there. Really? Like, okay. The, like the heart of the Amish in the o Ohio, PA area, right there. Did you hang out with any Amish? Uh, I did not. They did. They wave though. Every time you drive by, they they're always waving. Really? Yeah. Some of them have systems in their buggies. Like you can like they, you can hear like the bass like. Is that allowed? I don't know, but they do. Okay. They might be Mennonite in that because okay. I know there's like, but anyways. So, so your eulogy, your eulogy. I did the, so anyway, so, so I go, so anyways, she lives in the middle of nowhere. Some of the people out there are, are uh, unique, I should say. You know, they, 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 they're from a different time. Okay. I, uh, you know, and, uh, so I meet this pre the priest for the first time ever, right? He's the priest at my grandma's church. My grandma's not super involved in the church, but like she's been, she had went throughout her life. She's from that small town. There's only like 1,200 people in this town. Okay. That's the population. And uh, so I meet him and he's like, oh, hey, yeah, so-and-so, I'm so, whatever his name is. He's, he's like, he's not super old. He's probably maybe 10 or 15 years older than me. Um, fully gray hair. And uh, he says, he goes, yeah, I think something. Uh, I uh, I remember uh, your dad's service years ago. You know, my dad's passed away too a long time ago. And I was like, yep, yep, yeah, just me. I'm the one handling all the stuff or whatever. This man has known me two minutes and goes, he goes, he goes, oh, do you have any kids? I go, no. He goes, you should get on that. Continue the family name. Dude only knows Whoa. me for two minutes. That's the first thing he says to me. <laughs> Whoa, you were, I you felt were... like I felt like saying, you know, I'm a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> you're not out here slinging dick. My yeah, man. but no, I didn't. But then, so then I go. So then he, whatever. Yeah, I just, crazy. I just, I just blow it off, right? I'm like, he's Fair he doesn't enough. know any better. He's from a different time. Yeah. And uh, so I do, I do the it's from I, a different time. So I, so I go up, and he's using a microphone to yeah. talk, right? Okay. And I'm not a quiet person, so I stand up to do the eulogy, and I'm like. I'm gonna turn this microphone off because I don't I don't need it. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, like yeah, yeah. so I go up there and I'm bellowing out and like I get done with my thing and he taps me on the shoulder. He goes he goes well done. I think you got into the wrong profession, son. And I was just like, <laughs> what's the wrong 
song professor. I should have been a preacher. Oh, you should be singing the praises yeah, of the so Lord. Yeah, having tons of babies and preaching. Uh, Jonas, and I've honestly, known this man for two hours. Honestly, I, I've always felt that you should have a bunch of babies and you should be preaching the Lord. Really? I've it's always time, felt that. I've way. known you for decades. This is the first time you've ever brought that up. I, I, you, I have a better. I have better. Uh, what do you Cooth? call that? Cooth <laughs> than the uh, the preacher. Yeah, night. yeah. So then I guess. Well, I guess come to find out. Uh, Just you know, my, my cousin. He, my, it's my second cousin. I was staying with out there because he had internet. My grandma's house didn't have internet. Sure. Um, his his wife's his wife's younger. His wife's my age, a little bit older than me, and uh, and, my, and they go to they go to that church or whatever. And he was like. Yeah, my wife used to go with me, and now, and now she doesn't. And I was like, oh, yeah? And she was like, <laughs> so I guess he was up there. He goes, they're pretty hard nose at that church, if you know what I mean. So he was no, up I there, don't. like, bashing gays and, like, anti, like, like, he, like talking how homosexuality was going to send people to hell. And she was like, yeah, I just can't, like, go there and listen to him, like, preach about that kind of stuff. <laughs> like, oh, it's like Westboro. <laughs> I don't know if that's what That's the one that always said, like, God hates the F word slur. <laughs> it's yeah, signs, yeah. and they're so, like, you know. So, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, it was an interesting time. I uh, handled the business. It was very busy, uh, very stressful. You know, and I'm home now, so now I'm going to get back into, like, stuff. But So, like, it was interesting because, like, you know, my I had told my – we, I know my grandma was ill for a long time, yeah, yeah. and uh, I told my boss, like, eventually this is going to happen. I'm going to have to go up there. You know, she's like, okay, well, you can take some time off and work or whatever. And she goes, so once everything happened, she messaged me, and she's like, hey, this is a really dumb question probably, but, like, you know, there's – how close is the closest Starbucks to you? We wanted to get you a gift card or whatever. And I was like, well, one, I don't drink Starbucks. Yeah, right. Two, I looked it up. 35 miles was the closest Starbucks. From here? From where I was. Oh, from where you were. Yeah. Okay. And there's okay. Starbucks like every three minutes all over the place. Oh, that's nuts, yeah. man. I didn't realize she lived in such a rural area. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That's it, crazy. Yeah. And uh, so they ended up, she's like, well, what is there? And I Googled it. She had to find me a Subway. Dude, I ate so many goddamn Subway wraps while I was up there because I wasn't, I wasn't able to cook for myself. Yeah, yeah. And it was 20 minutes in any direction to get to town. Uh, and every town had McDonald's. The one had Hardee's, uh, and then they had a Subway. So I was like, well, at least that's – But I was eating wraps, and, uh, but I did have Mr. Hero once, one time. That, Only that, once in 25 days. That's but I good. Did, that's yeah, I did good. eat it. And then uh, – yeah, but then a couple times I had to drive a little farther. and there, Like if I drove 30 minutes, there was a Taco Bell, and I had that like two or three hey, times. Yo, if you're ever in Cleveland, listeners – you got to hit up a Mr. Hero, <laughs> get yourself a Roman burger. Oh, right? absolutely. Don't get a large – Get a regular. No, get a large. It's two. It's two That's seven two inch uh, sandwiches, man. <laughs> so no, dude. This so, is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. A fast food. Hey, a large sub is two sandwiches. What? <laughs> hey, you an extra fatty? Come on in. I'll give you two. You don't so need that. I, uh, so Nobody yeah, a large needs- combo is essentially for two people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. so funny story about Mr. Hero is last time I was in Ohio, which was May, to go visit my grandma. Uh, I went to. I went uh, around the same time, man. Or was it after? I, it was after. You, it was after you came back. I went and uh, so I went, and my grandma was in the nursing home still. She was obviously in a lot better health then. And uh, and I was like, hey, do you want a cheeseburger? I'm gonna go to Mr. Hero, and she was like, yeah, I'll take a burger, whatever she wanted, tomato and mayonnaise or whatever the hell it was. Ew. I know it was gross. So I I ordered it, came back, and she ate only ate half of her burger, and uh, and her brother, who's also like in his 80s lives at the house with her and she was like oh, i'll save the other half for him and uh he is he has had like throat throat issues so he can't eat a lot of different foods like it so sure, he sure. uh he tried it he ate the other half i came up there he's like yeah i go up there like once a week and get her a philly cheesesteak <laughs> this mother effer got hooked on mr hero he's going really? up there like a, once a week to get philly cheesesteak so that's who i went to mr uh, hero with I, I was like you want to go up and get me and him went up there he's like 85 he's drinking mountain yeah. dew and eating a philly cheesesteak it was awesome hey, so uh hey, so, so that was pretty cool but uh but yeah man it was i mean it was it was a good time i uh my cousins who are technically my dad's cousins so they're like you know a dec- decade or two older than me. Yeah, which means they're really that, cool. Which means you could have sex with them and not have like a uh, a crazy kid. Yeah, it's, I don't I think it's third cousins, but they're also guys, so that would make a difference okay. too. Well, I mean, that would just be weird. Then. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, they uh, they're really cool, man. So we hung out, and drank beer and stuff, and shot the crap. And um, no, it was. I mean, 
it was as good as it could have been. Oh, other than my other grandma broke her leg while I was there, so I had to deal with like a whole other yeah, set of circumstances. Yeah. I forgot that part. <laughs> so look, Jonas went up there and handled some real adult business while he was gone. I did. We tried to hold it down. We were sending you positive waves out there, and I'm glad to have you back. Yeah, I'm glad the townsfolk. I got all their emails and their letters. Some sent roses and chocolates. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. they reached out to you directly. You you uh, facilitated the transfer of funds and the and the gifts. <laughs> right. Um, you know, if you did that, thank you. If you didn't, I still love you anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, uh, I've handled all of your affairs while you were gone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, I should not have to go back uh, anytime soon. I will go back in the spring or summer because I have a lot more stuff to go through that was outside that I wasn't going to stand yep. in the cold. And, but, and God willing that the rest of our family members stay alive for Jesus. very, 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 Forever. very much longer. Yes. How about they Forever. never perish? <laughs> right. So, anyways. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, sorry to start out with a bummer, folks, but, you know, hey, that's life, and, uh, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com, subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.